<laughs> okay, off to a weird start. <laughs> okay. Um, today we're going to be doing a two-in-one video. Two-in-one. Um, we're going to have a uh, we're going to have a Bell's cooking video and a weekly update. That's right, a weekly update combined. Daily. That's right. So, Daily. what are we going to be cooking tonight? <laughs> hangover soup. Yeah, hangover soup. <laughs> so we got but, um, pretty much all the ingredients we need here. What do we have? But we're gonna. But ours is gonna be more fancier because of these. That's right. We're gonna have fancy hangover soup fancy. because we got our typical ingredients, which is some cheap dollar store macaroni. Yes. You know, some inexpensive ground beef, and a plain old can of, of generic soup. tomato condensed soup. These are three ingredients you have to have. Yes. We're going to add to it Dish. tomato tomato basil bisque and probably some spices out of the spice cupboards. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? It's a dab. Okay, let's talk about dabs because this, this is something that happened this week. There's completely no thing. I don't understand it. <laughs> Wait. What are we doing with the dab? <laughs> so we do. Oh, well, like this. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time you ever dabbed. Yeah, that's my first dab. So what are we doing when we're dabbing? Um, what does that mean? It's sort of like a meme. It's a meme. Well, sort of. Um, um, just, what does that mean? Like, what are we doing? Why do we? Why are we dabbing? Boy, <laughs> as I'm, um, and this has been going around our our school. Well, my school, um, um, and like people just ran randomly there, but just the, just the thing to do. See, when I was when I was uh, probably your what fourth grade. Yes. So when I was in fourth grade, you know what our thing to do was? What? We take our fingers like this, just like this, with our knuckles, and we pinch and pull, pinch and pull, and we yank. Until we had a bruise, a line of bruise that went down our nose. <laughs> why? That's so stupid. Oh, I don't know. That's I don't so know why stupid. we do dabs, and I don't know why we do that thing either. That was, that was weird. And Basically, I noticed that the kids dab don't is a meme. Basically, the dab is a meme. That's just weird. I think I got a different understanding of what a meme is than you. Because I don't know what, yeah. it, what the dab is doing. But I understand kids do weird shit. <laughs> Seriously! <laughs> okay, if you, um, if you uh, guys want to uh, watch uh, more memes that I know, there is, um, there's a weird meme called Mind, um, and, and it's really weird but really funny. Is it a meme or is it like a it's YouTube a, channel? Or it's a YouTube meme. Oh, okay. Something that people have passed. Okay, so what I'm doing right now is I'm heating up the the skillet here. Yeah, you're supposed to do the cooking. So you're going to be cooking the meat first, and you're going to be cooking it in that thing. And by the way, this is my favorite sweater. I just yeah, it's back. got the new new favorite sweater. And also I got a crystal in my pocket for some reason. <laughs> okay, that's bizarre. Yeah. Um, the context of our... <laughs> of our dabbing and bachelor eating and all that stuff this evening is yeah, that the, the ladies are gone. Yeah! So the ladies are gone. It's just me and Belle here. Yeah, well, almost all ladies. Yeah, Belle's mom is gone. Yes. Maggie's gone. Maggie's gone. Our auntie. Mahoney's gone. They're all gone to Montana. Also my little brother, Joe. Yeah, Joey's gone. So it's just me and Belle, and you know, Sheen will be back late tonight, so we'll have to save some for her. But, um, other than that, other than that, we're on our own, so we're just going to eat the good stuff. I like, know, so TJ's at home, so... so and still, I, and I, didn't, I didn't have any fish balls to add to the recipe, but maybe next time. Okay, so you're going to open up the meat, open up the meat, and put it, put it into the, uh, the thing. I'll still get a little supervision to do this. 
supervision. Yeah, if you're cooking on the stove, you probably should have adult supervision. Yeah. And all the cooking videos. Mm. Hard. It's a lot harder than it um, needs to be. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. not dirty. You could throw it short back in the drawer. <laughs> Dad rules. <laughs> oh, Daddy! <laughs> okay, let's put the meat, the hamburger. I also wash your hands before this. Yeah, you should always wash your hands before you cook. Throw the meat and just, into the frying pan thing. And just plop it. Plop it! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and there it goes. There we go. I just there we go. On it. That thing can be thrown away. Also, we got the puppies with us. And we got a wooden spoon with which to break up the meat, which is pretty icy at this point. So we will pause the video and we will come back when we have some meat cooking done. Yes. Hello. Hello again. Um, this is my second time trying to do this. Take two. Take two. <laughs> We're flipping the meat, the frozen. This is a technique for getting to the other side of the frozen hamburger. Mm, hiya! <laughs> Don't do that. I just tried it. Yeah, you flip it. Scrape the brown stuff off. Nah. When the other side is getting brown again, you keep fl you flip it, repeat until you got all your hamburger cooking. And also another tip: um, to know when it's uh, to know uh, when it's uh, when the other side's going, uh, you'll hear like more bubbling. Mmm, and... it'll start sounding like it's sizzling. Hey. Really. Okay, um, now once you've got your meat all, um, all crunched up, um... Yeah, meat's all crunched up and it's getting kind of brown. Once it, there's still some redness in there. Once it, once the redness turns brown, we'll turn the temperature down. Or you could always put it on the back burner. Yeah! <laughs> which is why that phrase, put, you know, I'm putting it on the back burner comes about, because the back burner is smaller, you know? You might have low heat back there, so it's like you're keeping it on the back burner. Something you're going to get to, but you don't need it right now. So we're moving on to what? Um, the macaroni. We're moving on to macaroni. <laughs> so we're going to take about half of this bag, maybe. Yes. And we're going to okay. put it in this yeah, water. So things I always want to showcase our dog. Okay, they're eating, though. You shouldn't showcase them right now, or they're going to bite your fingers off. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. Okay. Alright, so let's uh, get some macaroni happening. Still stirring this. Okay. Get these or other scissors. Yeah. Gotta get some scissors. So while she's doing that, I'll continue on with the weekly update. Um, what's going on this week? Well, last week, of course, we had all of the like Christmas dilemmas about what to buy at the shopping mall and this kind of stuff. I've almost figured out my Christmas shopping completely. It's getting it's getting pretty close. In fact, today I bought a gift. Might be my last gift that I need. I'm not sure yet. That good? Might be a little bit more. I'd put some more. Cause it's gonna be three of us eating. Me, you, and Sheen. Even more. That's probably gonna be good. I don't know. More. It's up to you. Up to you. These kind of things, like okay. recipes, don't have to be exact. Okay. Okay? <laughs> you just kind of wing it. The bag. Ooh, that wouldn't okay. have been good. And also, we got some roly poly. And growly. And growly. These are our puppery, puppers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're feeding them because they're going to be getting hungry the more they smell our food cooking. Yes. They're going to want their dinner. Like this. That goes in the pantry. Crowley's stealing the mama's food. So, yeah, so my Christmas shopping is almost done. You know what I noticed this Christmas, though, this season? I noticed that a lot of people are, like, ordering subscription boxes and stuff. No, like... 
What do you think about those subscription boxes? Huh? Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, like there's a whole bunch of them out there. Yeah. And I have, I have mixed feelings about them because, um, of course, the idea is kind of awesome. Like, right? You're gonna get a package in the mail. Yeah. Getting everybody likes to get packages in the mail. Yeah. And it's gonna be filled with random stuff that you don't know beforehand. Yeah. yeah. Like you don't know what you're gonna get. Like, there's no way to some, tell. Like probably some gifts from. Subscribers. Yeah, that could be. Sometimes uh, maybe subscribers could send like a a box of who knows what. Yeah, something like that. But um, but I'm talking about the ones like the subscription boxes, like the order from companies that are like every month they'll send you a box for thirty bucks or something. And thirty some bucks. Things. I know. What the heck? That's that's a kind of a lot and a kind of not a lot of money, right? Like thirty bucks, but you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know what you're gonna get, and uh, the thing about it is, like, it's appealing because it's kind of like a Christmas stocking. You know, you're getting this. But it's even better because it comes in the mail, yeah. so you're like waiting for it. It gives you something to do. Like you're thinking, oh, I wonder if my box came today, and then eventually your box comes, so you're excited about that. And you open it, you don't know what you're going to get. And then, like, people make videos just about opening their subscription boxes. Yeah. I've seen like, these. Yeah, subscribe to my and also mm -hmm. subscribe to them. Yeah. That's so, yeah, so it's all, like, exciting. I understand the appeal. But it also says to me that, like, we already got everything that we want. And it's come to the point where <laughs> we're just buying stuff. We don't even, like... We kind of care. We want it to be thematic, but we don't know what we're going to get. We don't really care because we already got everything that we want. We just want to spend some money. Do you, do you disagree with that theory? Nope. <laughs> well, yes. Yes. I do disagree with that theory. How come? Because it's bad. You need money to be buying print and things like food. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can get like subscription boxes with food stuff. There's this one called Blue Apron, Yummy. where where <laughs> they send you like all of the ingredients to make a really nice dinner and a recipe, and they like. I'm in between. <laughs> yeah, I got a I got a friend who has a a show called Indigi Kitchen for Indigenous Kitchens. I was telling her you should do a subscription box thing where you sit like blue apron but with indigenous foods that would be cool but yeah i started getting curious because i had seen some subscription box stuff come up and uh so i was like i wonder if they got like serial killers subscription box they do Seriously? yeah they do they got a subs the they got a subscription Jane. thing where you can like you're getting a letter every month from this Hannibal Lecter guy who's trying to lead you to uh, track down a killer, a serial killer. And then, like I've seen this one, Tim Kennedy uh, from the from the UFC. Um, of course, he was in special forces, so he had like a special forces type of like a special operations yeah. <laughs> subscription box. It must have been the contents in there must have been worth thousands of dollars. Like, I, I didn't watch his whole unboxing video because I was like, I can't watch this. But he's, like, opening it up, and then one of the first things he opens up is this really nice pair of high-powered binoculars. And he's talking about how this is the same glass, that, same kind of glass that he uses in all of his scopes and stuff. It's like, how much, how much money does this subscription box cost? I can't, I can't do that. Oh, by the way. Um, these subscription, uh, subscription, I can't speak, I can't speak today, mm -hmm. um, subscription boxes, um, this video is not sponsored, <laughs> <laughs> I just want to throw that out there. That's right, Blue Apron and Tim Kennedy do not sponsor my videos. Yeah, none of them sponsor any of our videos. No, no. So, yeah. Um, by the way, um, subscribe down below. 
Yeah, yeah there is a little, there is a little and floaty hit, thing in there. And hit the and hit the bell uh, too, um, so you um, get notified. To like the video, eh? Yeah, and, and to watch our video every single day. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we'll get back on this thing when the macaroni is closer to done. Yeah. And um, now, um, you're, and um, now, uh, since this is now done. How long do you got to cook it? And stir. And in. About, about 10 minutes or so. Yep. Yeah. So. Boil, boil for about 10 minutes. Make the noodles soft can test them out if you want. Oh, she's going to try. She's going to go for it. She's going to be the pourer. Got to strain off this water. Yeah. And, uh, I, like I said, have adult supervision to do this. Yeah, don't get your face steamed off, eh? <laughs> it is steamed, but for some reason it actually smells really delicious. Yeah, that should be good. You can put the pot on the um, on the wooden cutting board so it, cause it's hot. <laughs> All right. So next up. Uh, put these back in here. Yeah, let's put them back. Since this is all drained. Yeah, we just needed to get the noodle water off because we don't want to have noodle water. Yeah. <laughs> Some people might try to cut the corners on the soup idea and just keep the noodle water in there, but yeah. we're going to replace it with some new water. Yeah. I'm just going to put this in there. All right. So we got to add our soup. Add the soup. Both of our soups. Mm -hmm. uh, gonna have our fancy dinner. Yeah, so with this condensed tomato soup like this, the general rule is for one can of soup, you add like two and a half cans of water. But we might have to go more than that, we'll see. Yeah. We gotta yeah. taste test as we go. Yeah. Tomatoes, but. Alright, so that's what you fill with water and put the water in there too. That would help you get some more of the tomato flavor out of there, too. Yeah. Because although we're not thrifty enough to try to uh, <laughs> drink the noodle water, we will be thrifty enough to try to get all of the tomato flavor out of the can. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a half one. Yeah, let's do another... Yeah. Okay. And let's see. Let's let's pour that other soup in and see where that takes us. Yeah, it's loud. It's getting soupy in there. Now add our fancy one. Our fancy tomato basil bisque. And I, I'm just squeezing it. <laughs> at this point. Yeah, our, our stew is going to be a little bit creamier than your average. Yes. And if you want it fancy, you can buy this. Mm -hmm. If you live in Lethbridge, you need that Safeway. Probably a lot of Safeways have it because it's a Campbell's soup. All right, let's mm -hmm. fill that thing with part of the water and so that we can rinse that out too. Which one? The one that you just used. Okay. Just put like half a thing of water in there and swish it around. Okay, to rinse it out. Yeah, halfway. Halfway, fill it, and then... It's probably good. I don't want it too watery at, at first. We gotta test things out. Swish it around and put it in the pot. Ah. <laughs> Need duck it. Put it in the pot? Yeah, put it in the pot. Why not? Seriously? Yeah. Get some more flavor out of that thing and make our make our soup more soupy. All right, so... Now we put our meat in. Yeah, got to put the meat in. Um, did you flavor this? No, we'll, we'll flavor it when we're going. You can, uh, whoops. End up stealing that. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here, I'll switch you jobs. No, no, I'm good, I'm good.
You good? All right. Yeah, that's what you needed. Just you needed the right tool. This hurts. I'm not good with my right hand. Oh, that's right. The right hand is not your strong hand. My strong hand is my left. Make sure you don't dip the pipe in the soup. Do you see that lefties are more creative? Yes, there is. More. And this is the and the left as the time that I draw. I draw with, and I'm pretty good at drawing. Mm -hmm. I can draw animatronics. Right on. That's good. You pretty much got it. And let's put the big pot back on the burner. And that's another one of our puppies. Her name is Princess. Hey, Princess. What's up? What's up, you little cutie pie? You're just a cutie pie. Yes, you are. <laughs> All right, let's get that thing back on the burner. I'm very sassy. The stove is still on. Oh, I can feel steam. Oh my goodness. Let's give it some stirring. Stir things around here. Oh yeah. I'm supposed to be cooking. Yeah, that's looking. Now some people would mix in like a can of crushed tomatoes in there too. But I don't know. I kind of like it without the crushed tomatoes. Yeah. And actually, and actually, I wonder how this tastes, because I have actually never had this. Yeah, you've had something like this. Cooker makes this kind of stuff. Actually, no. Just the, she doesn't use the, the fancy soup with it. Mm -hmm. She makes tomato soup with the, the noodles, though. So does your mom. Hello. Hello. Okay, so we're basically done here. Our uh, our soup is warm, warming up, almost finished, and we're gonna add some spices. Yes. So what do you think we should add? Do you want to add some of that? Go. That is Italiano spice. Which <laughs> must be a mix of like oregano and stuff, hey? Pepper. Pepper. Okay. Let's put some Hopefully of that in there. Doesn't ruin flavor. Come on. Won't ruin it. It'll just give it a different flavor. I don't know. It's up to you. <laughs> Mix that in there. Put some pepper. Isn't that green pepper thing on the table? Yeah, it is. It's on the kitchen table. Even work going that way? No, it works. This is what we're going in. Barely. Okay, uh, yeah, I don't think it's really going. You gotta turn it the other. I think it only works in one direction. It's not built for lefties. Yeah. Dang it. The whole world's built for right handed people. Yes. Why? Because we're in the majority. <laughs> um, Mendoza, fun part. Our grandma used to be used to be a lefty. My grandma. Who? Gookum? Yes. Uh-huh. Um, but some people bullied bullied her into uh, being a righty. Jeez. Those bullies. Oh, I hate it when people do that. So yeah, that's it. That's the recipe for hangover stew yes. or soup. And there's not much else to happen this week to report. <laughs> Belle had a Christmas carol. She was dressed all in a nice dress and stuff. Yes. And the shoes I was wearing were really hard to walk in mm -hmm. and run in. And you got the Charlie Brown tree. You should yes. show that. Yes. You going to bring it or you want to go up? Uh, Your room's pretty messy. You should bring it. Yeah. Be, be <laughs> <ready>. <laughs>
Yeah, not a whole lot else happened this week, so to speak, you know. Spent some hours out in the coulee. Um, did a little bit of research work. A little bit of uh, this and that around the house. But, yeah, it wasn't a, <laughs> it wasn't a, a very momentous week. So that's what we're down to, the hangover stew. Yeah, last night we went to uh, FNMI, which is First Nations, Métis, and Inuit Alumni uh, Association or chapter or something Christmas <coughs> Christmas dinner. Still Bell, you guys. Yeah, some Christmas dinner, and Bell won a really cool prize. That's the Charlie Browniest Christmas tree for sure. <laughs> I, I tried to shape it like the picture. <laughs> yeah, it looks just like the cartoon. <laughs> wah, wah. <laughs> wah, 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 wah. Maybe it just needs a little love. And I guess maybe as a last piece, I'll show you guys hanging the Christmas lights. And also, and also, I got a Hershey's kiss. Yeah, there were Hershey's Kisses along with the Charlie Browniest tree in that prize she won. The single strip in the tree, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> 